All right. So, possible question. Essay question. It's only going to be three. It's either going to be to explain to me what's going on in the primary circuit, explain to me what's going on in the secondary circuit, or what's, explain to me what's going on in the filament circuit of the two. You get primary, one of the three. You said what? Filament? Yep. You so get you one. You have to do one of them? Yes, and I want a minimum of eight sentences. You, you said five! five. Oh, oh. Oh. It's going to take more than <laughs> Y'all got to be able to, because if I got to say eight. I take the 50 questions, Alex. Oh, my God. <laughs> eight sentences? You can come up with eight sentences. I don't right know if I can come up with eight. I'm going to give you eight right now. I'm going to give you eight. It could be one of the, one of, one part of it could be labeling. Right? If I gave you the diagram and you labeled it, that could be a sentence for peace. Right. Yes. You got this. Y'all got this. But I need to make sure y'all understand that the primary circuit consists of the main power switch, the circuit breaker, the auto transformer, the timer circuit, and the primary side of the step up. I will send you guys these slides to help you Please. prepare. Yes. I think I got that one. You guys can make use, and I may even, when you come in the room that day, before we start anything, I may give you an index card, let you jot down your pointer, so when you get ready to physically type, you have that to reference. I'll do that for you guys as well. So everybody need to be on time next week. Oh, yeah. All right? Because that's the only way that's going to work. <laughs> The secondary circuit consists of the secondary side of the step up transformer. So part of it's in the okay. primary, part of it's in the secondary. The MA meter, rectifier bank, and the x ray tube. All parts except for the filament. The filament circuit consists of the real stack, the step down transformer, and the filament. Now, what do they do? Here that's, we go. That's the question. <laughs> she said, that's the magic question. Mm -hmm. We're going to start in the primary. So, in the primary, yeah. right here, let me right here. Let me draw. And receive voltage from the uh, auto transformer. Right, we're right here, right now. We only mm -hmm. want to focus on. In the primary part of the x-ray circuit, you have the main power switch. The main power switch is the on and off switch for the unit that's connected to the facility's power supply. The line compensator is in here. What does the line compensator do? It's the device usually wired to the auto transformer. Did you get your auto transformer? Oh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So he, here's your, so if you break this out, if you look in at the internal part, it's connected in here. And the line compensator adjusts the power to supply the x-ray unit with at least 220 volts. Remember that. So if this is part, if you have, tell me what's going on in the primary circuit as your question. This part you should not leave out. I want you to mention that the line compensator helps us to supply the power for the machine to 220 volts. Can somebody turn a light back on? The circuit breaker protects against short circuits and electrical shock. See the circuit breaker? Mm -hmm. The auto transformer. Where's the auto transformer? Right there. The, the long one by itself. 
This is the auto transformer. Y'all yeah, see my yeah the pointer running up and down. It's your pointer blends in. Let me change the color. Yeah, I cannot. This is the auto transformer. You see it now? Mm -hmm. Right here, auto transform. What does it do again? Adjust the transformer controls for KDP selector oh. on the console. So when we select KDP, we're telling this the auto transformer what amount of energy we want. Okay, okay, yeah. Any questions? Yes, can you help real quick repeat the line compensator? The line compensator supplies 220 volts of power for the machine, mm -hmm. that's it? So what are the, the four parts of the x-ray circuit, primary circuit that we just talked about that y'all need to make sure you talk about in your... Circuit breaker, the auto transformer, the line compensator, incoming power supply. So you got the main... the question to explain what's occurring in the primary circuit of the x-ray tube what four components did I just talk about I talked about the incoming, incoming line supply the line compensator the line compensator is in here mm -hmm. circuit this, breaker that's connected to the auto transformer circuit breaker auto transformer That was four. As you said, the auto transfer former basically regulates KVP. Yes. Okay. It, pro it protects against short circuits and electrical shock. So I'm giving y'all the answers today. Right? We're going to get to secondary. <laughs> I just want to let y'all make sure everybody got what they need from right here. And I don't want to move this chart. I mean, I don't want to move this illustration. So... I'm trying to pull it up on my laptop real quick. Miss Wells, that wasn't all of it, though, right? Like the exposure timer and the step up? No, we haven't gotten it. Okay, I'm just making sure.
It wasn't out there. Mm -hmm. Now he out there. Circuit breaker, auto transformer, and that's where we stop. Oh, they're, they've been in my drawer forever. <laughs> they're still in my drawer. Okay. Yeah. But I think there's four of them supposed to come tomorrow. But I put you on the email with it. Okay. Y'all got it? Y'all look like y'all asleep. Y'all need some water. Between that. Sleep. Focus. This is focus. Because, like, if you turn off the light, it has to go kind of through a wire, and you got to go through the circuit breaker. Yeah, we're the light. Got it. All right, we'll call me when you're wrapped up with them. Okay. You guys have a good rest of your week. Thank you. You too. Oh, wait a minute. What? Y'all are going to be here next week. Are y'all coming on campus? Yeah. No, we're coming on campus. She's live. Yep. She told a fib. Okay, so I'll see y'all next week. Yeah, we'll be here. Y'all want to come see us? We are well, real wise. Is that that's what you said? We asked her this. It depends on the temperature. It's it's well nice today. I was gonna say yesterday it was boiling. I felt like I was in an oven. It was eighty degrees in here. Eighty. Yeah, just, like, they had like the heaters on full blast. It was ridiculous. <laughs> this is disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> so I wasn't sure what today was gonna bring. They don't know what they want our building to be. You said, but you didn't even warm me because there. when I was. I noticed it was cooler and it was like in the mid 70s. Look, you didn't even warm me though. I'm <laughs> We're not Easton, please, are we? We're too cold, we're too hot. Today has been fine though. How about yeah. for you guys? Yeah. It's, yeah. Been, yeah. It's, it's been manageable. Because I, yeah. I brought coffee in and I never drank it. And I was yeah. like, oh, I don't, I don't need it. Yeah, she drank aloe. All right, yeah. well, you guys we have a good rest of your week. Yeah, it's just in the cabinet. It's in, it's in the cabinet, that little cabinet in the back. The little coffee pods. We just kind of we put all that stuff up because um, the tour. The tour. We have the tour people coming in, and so everything's just in the cabinet. Okay. Thank you. But the door is locked, so if you need to go next door, just ask Miss Lawless to open it. But you guys have a good rest of your week. Make mm -hmm. sure y'all are finishing y'all clinical assignments strong. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So y'all can start getting those job offers coming in. Right. All right. Bye. 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 So step up, transformer. It's used to increase the voltage. So we're right here. We're gonna go back to exposure time. Because I'm giving you guys an order of how this works. So this 
Deaf Love Transformer is considered secondary? It's so what it's part? So remember, part of it's in primary and part of it's in the secondary. Oh, I see. Wait, sorry. One is in voltage, oh, okay. primary is in voltage, voltage. and the uh, yeah. secondary circuit, the step up transfer form is in kilovoltage. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the step up transformer is used to increase the voltage from the auto transformer to the KVP or kilovoltage necessary for the X ray production. So this step up helps to make sure what we set, what we set on the console is going from here to here properly. All right. So you have this KV meter, P meter here. So that KV, P meter is reading out what we set at the console. console. It's working this way and then back this way to make sure that the output is, is proper the x-ray production. Now, do I expect you to put all of that in your essay? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's going to make a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> We're still talking about the, we still the in the primary, primary circuit. circuit. See, yes. I just why I keep yes. saying give me 50 questions. Yeah, you got this. Uh -uh. Because whatever I don't get to today, if I only get to the primary and the secondary, then those are the only two. You either gonna have primary or you're gonna have secondary, right? Because she can read like that we know it. Sometimes we do multiple choice. We do like two things and you're not sure of it. Yeah. Yeah. You can write that. So the setup And I'm going to send you guys this PowerPoint, and I'm going to recap because we did a lot today, okay? I'm going to send you PowerPoints from the day. I'm going to send you this PowerPoint. I'm going to recap what we're doing to finish out the still matter and everything, okay? And I hope everybody finished your sales because I want to grade those after we're done so those grades are in there. Right. Can you reach out to Ms. Hamilton Manuel about the extra credit? I will. Now, the exposure, we're right here now, the exposure. So that, that's how it works. So the exposure timer is located in this uh, section because it easy, it's easier to control the turn off of the power at low voltages than high voltages. That's why they have it right here in the circuit. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, we're we're going going primer to the because primary. No, we're still, we never left the primary. Oh. So the right exposure here. timer is located in the primary because it's easier to control the turn on and turn off at low voltages than very high voltages. It's the boiling off and the um, boiling off. Can you draw like a flow arrow to this direction, like in a different color? Why don't I? Why don't I erase all of this? Yeah, we need the gif of like the current going through. That is the most millennial thing I've ever heard. <laughs> 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 I mean, like, <laughs> so, I really have to use the bathroom, but I won't miss anything. So we here? have a five minute break. <laughs> so this is here, but the current don't come. This is if you have problems. So okay. this doesn't come into play to do anything until there's a problem. The circuit breaker? Yeah. yeah okay. It's like at your house. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't until something broke. Yeah. yeah, and it shuts everything out so it don't work no more. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's just there. So you're coming in here, and because of your auto transformer is so long, it, can, it's, it fluctuates through all these ripples. All right. Okay. This is at the control panel. So this is communicating with the control panel. So whatever I set there is communicating from here to here here and then it comes back to here to make sure that output is proper but the timer is saying okay she said or he said a kvp of 70. how much time do i need to have this on before i shut it off to give the system adequate amount of time to make sure that exposure is 70 kvp y'all got it yeah, yeah. 
So like they're going back and forth multiple times for as long as it's, it's, it's needed. So you see the arrows here? Mm -hmm. So this is represent, okay, it's coming in here and it's coming in here. And as it's going back and forth and coming in here, when it gets adequate, it shuts it off. Mm -hmm. This is this acts like a circuit breaker halfway through. Yeah, yeah. Because it's a timer. It's a timer. So the timer circuit varies in sync with the timer that's necessary for the adequate exposure. So this is where your AEC comes into play in your chamber. I'm not even going to add at the console part, but it'll be on the PowerPoint, the slides I'm seeing, okay? Any questions about primary? So in, if you have primary as your essay question, you want to talk about the income and supply, even if you leave out circuit breaker, I'm okay with it. I ain't going to fuss. I ain't going to get mad. But as long as you say something about the income and power supply, the main power switch, the auto transformer, the exposure timer and the step up part, you got a easy. And we call it the primary step up? Yeah, you can call it the primary step up transform. Since there is the two parts of the mm -hmm. And what is it, what is this role on the primary side? Who role? The step up transform. Mm -hmm. To increase the, the voltage from the auto, auto transformer. transformer to the necessary KVP. KVP. Question before we step over to secondary. No, actually. All right, so now we're here. I'm sorry. This policy can draw a straight left. Everything in the blue. You got to use the bathroom? Yes. I was trying to wait, but okay, they're recording, so recording. we'll make sure the recording, recording gets out. So the secondary circuit begins with the rest of the step up. You have your MA meter. Where your MA meter is? Right in that area. And it monitors the X-ray tube current. So how much tube is to flow in the? You have your rectifiers. And your rectifiers. We have diodes. Right here. Change the alternating current to they DC. They DC. are needed to convert the alternating, alternating current, current to direct. So, yeah, so AC means they're doing what? Alternating. Alternating. Back and forth. We don't yeah. want them to alternate no more. We want them to flow one way. Because right. electrons flow one way. All right, so So the MA meter is used to make sure the proper amount of tube current is flowing. What are the different types of rectifiers we have? The diodes. Halfway. Full three. Half wave means there's just one. Full wave. Full wave is going up and down. Up three and phase. Down. So if you mention two of the varying types of rectifiers, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Half wave and full wave? Mm -hmm. Just mention half wave and full wave. But what, anything specific about them? That it can do both. Yes. Just say it's like different tubes. Some tubes might be half, some tubes might be full. So oh, just, the, the this is just. Bring to your mem memorization. You don't have to put this in your essay for the final. Remember that the single phase full wave has a hundred percent ripple. ripple. Mm -hmm. Three phase full wave have thirteen to three point five ripple. 
And all that information is going to be in this PowerPoint that I'm seeing. Okay. That's okay. And then your high fre frequency has less than 1% relief. Because it's just considered. The, oh, somebody went out the door. So in your secondary circuit, all you need to talk about is the step up transformer, the MA meter, and the rectifier. Thank you. So secondary is easy. So just hope you don't get the primary because it's more going on in the primary to me. Now we're going to erase that and we're going to go to filament. Your filament. Circuit, you have your rheostat and in your rheostat you have an exposure time why is this exposure time necessary because it's for the step down transformer yes what is it so what's the rheostat do so the rheostat Decreases. is your variable resistor that controls your ma selector control. on the exposure control it's a resistor and it controls the what's that mean it's a resistor so it provides resistance. It, so it doesn't just go go. It kind of MA. MA selector. Yeah. MA selector. MA selector. So wait, MA selector is different from the MA meter. So it is controlling it based on what we've selected at the console. So in there, you also have a a timer. This timer works with the rheostat to determine the quantity of electrons boiled off of the filament for the X-ray production. I'm gonna repeat it. Within the re oh, I keep doing it. I'm sorry. I'm trying to draw. Within the rheostat, you have an exposure timer, and this exposure timer works in conjunction with the rheostat. So you have the control plus the timer to help that control. So it's telling them, okay, I need for you to stop these electrons from boiling off when we reach the amount that they've selected on the control panel. What you bet that do? You'll be able to see it in full scope when I send the PowerPoint out to you. So that's where we're going now. The step down transformer is used in the filament circuit to increase the current by reducing the voltage that's applied to the filament. So it works opposite of the step up. So it increases what? It increases the current by reducing the voltage that's applied to the filament. And it's labeled down here. It's just cut off because of, let me see. Oh, I, I, I see it now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's all I need y'all to say. Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure you understand what's going on. Because we're going to, Emma, you all right? Yeah. <laughs> so, wait, so the filament circuit is just the rheostat? The step step exposure timer? And, and the step down? down. That's it. Yeah, that's the the, the yeah. most complicated part is the primary. It has more going on. How many of you get eight sentences just for the filament? Will you read this PowerPoint? Because okay. you're going to talk about, you can talk, add to what's going on at the control panel. So when I select this, 
Okay. It's affecting this. What is that? Alright, we're gonna put the reduce the, the power voltage power. and I'll, increase current. Any questions for me as it relates to the so, circuitry? When it reduces voltage, yes. so after it, goes it increases exactly current. The It goes to the step down, and then from the step down, it comes out of the to the tube. Because remember, so you got part yeah. of the X-ray tube here, yeah. and after it goes to the step down, it goes up into the X-ray tube. So is it oh, primary oh filament circuit then secondary? I'm sorry, I was I was listening, but not really saying. Is that it like the order that, it, that the whole thing occurs? Is it primary so filament then secondary? Primary, secondary, one part of the x-ray tube, because the x-ray tube is split up into two parts. Oh, because of the monkey. So it goes through the, the tube. No, you got your cathode and you got your anode, remember? Oh, oh yeah. Okay, that's true. No, not So primary, secondary. What part of the tube is this? Which one? Which oh, point I don't know what you're looking for. I'm pointing at this. So what part of the tube is this? Let me change the color. That's the anode. The anode. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Alright. Mm -hmm. So yeah, both sides. So the anode. And then when it sends it where? Yeah. Cathode. Cathode. And once it gets in there, it has to go through the real step, the timer, and the step down. Okay, and it comes right out. Now. Yeah. Okay. Y'all got it now? No. So you said it goes so it goes through the real step, the exposure timer, then the anode, and then it goes back. Primary, yes. secondary, yes. And anode side of the tube. Anode side does this work and send it to the cathode, right? Uh -huh. But when it gets in the cathode, it's going to reestablish exposure timer, step down, and then out. Oh. And exposure. So right after the secondary circuit, it goes to the anode, and then it goes to the cathode, and then it does the filament. Okay, yeah, that's helpful. Because I was like, how does the filament happen if it's not? Because remember. Yeah. Part, the anode side of the tube is on secondary. The filament side, which is a part of the cathode, is on the filament current. I'm glad we're doing this, y'all. Because this is the root of understanding what's going on. And now that we done broke this down, and I'm finna see y'all this PowerPoint, the light bulbs are gonna go off, okay? I do wanna be- going over this like 15,000 times with the juniors. Like hammer it into their brains, not just once. Cause y'all know we spent how many days we spent on this slide? I think I spent. We we've gone over it multiple times. I, I, I oh, now it makes sense. It like temporarily, it makes sense, but then if it's not continuously reinforced, I'm like, you gotta explain it all over okay. again. Yeah. I, and y'all know I don't mind. Y'all know that. I know you don't mind. I'm just saying it might be better for them if they're continuously getting like tidbits of it. Because yeah. these are definitely questions that come up, and I'm like, and like I don't remember now. I don't remember at all. <laughs> I want to show you guys, and I'm gonna let y'all leave. I want to pull up the schedule. What schedule? Your clinical rotation. Okay. Um, yes. You don't want those. I don't need them, but guess what? It's called life. <laughs> it's 90, 99.9% .9 finalized, okay? Okay. I hear ya. Okay, we ready.